Hey, what's going on guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to roll back a driver in Windows 10. And before I start, make sure you enable the subtitles on my videos to understand better what I say. So yeah, let's start. I'm making this video because many people update their drivers and they see the driver has problems. For example, their graphics card is flickering the screen or just simply the version that they installed doesn't work and they want to roll it back but they do not know how. So that's why I'm making this video. And what you need to do to roll back the driver that you have problems, right click to start and then click device manager. Once device manager has opened, locate the driver that you have problems, it should already be expanded by itself because the driver that you have problems will have a little triangle in the icon of the driver and that means that you found um, the problem that you have. And what you need to do, double click to open the properties or right click to open the properties. Um, double click to open the properties however you wanna open it and for today's video we will be using my ethernet controller because I do not have any problems with any of my drivers neither with my ethernet controller and I just chose this um, the, uh, this driver right here and what you need to do you need to go to the dri driver tab and you wanna look for the rollback driver you know, if you see this option right here grayed out this means that you cannot roll back the driver and if you wanna fix the, the issue you wanna completely uninstall the, the driver and reinstall it again for those people that see the rollback uh, option um, like that that it's not grayed out click that option and it says here are you sure you would like to roll back to the previously installed drivers and it says down here why are you rolling back and you have to choose one of those options because if you if you do not you cannot continue choose the best option that fits your problem i do not have any problems and yeah if you do not see your problem a problem listed right here choose uh, for another reason and type the exact problem that you have um, i will be using the first option as i said i do not have any problems with my internet controller and after you have uh, chose the correct problem that you have click yes and it should um, roll back the driver you will see right here that the device manager will refresh as you can see right here and the driver date went back I think it was like um, four months uh, four months back and yeah if we click uh, close it will refresh the device manager again and if we double click and go back here if you saw that the driver date was much newer before I did the rollback and yeah as you can see I cannot roll it back right now because uh, Windows does not have the the older files uh, to roll back the driver so what you need to do to update the driver again go back to where we were in the rollback uh, in the rollback section or in the driver tab and then click update driver and here click search automatically for updated driver software so what this means it will search on the internet the best driver to install on your computer this will take about one or two minutes uh, for me it will take about 15 seconds it won't take a lot of time and it says here installing drivers when you see installing drivers then it means that it will successfully install the driver and as you can see right here it says windows has successfully updated your drivers and if you click close you will see that device manager will update and will refresh again and as you can see the driver date is the newest version um, right here and also i forgot to say in the start of this video Thanks everyone for 500 subscribers, we are currently at 501 subscribers, uh, it means a lot to me and my goal for 2019 is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's hope we can hit that goal and yeah, that's a video guys, thanks for watching, if you have any problems tell me in the comment section and let's try to help you as much as possible, if you have any video ideas tell me in the comment section and let's try to make them in the future, thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.